You know what they say about secret societies? They're everywhere! Or are they? And video games are no exception. Video game secret societies are shady, deadly, and more often than not, not very secretive at all. Whether it's because they couldn't resist that natty logo or they just couldn't stop telling people about themselves, you can generally spot a video game secret society from a mile off. So in honour of these not-so-secretive sects, here are seven secret societies that were very obviously secret societies. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptised in blood and fear. You've come at last! I knew you would! Put simply, when a child knows about your secret assassin's guild, when that child knows the precise ritual required to get in touch with your secret assassin's guild, and when every barman in the land knows this kid is trying to get in touch with your secret assassin's guild via the aforementioned ritual, you really are doing a pretty shit job of keeping your existence under wraps. What? The Dark Brotherhood is a group of assassins in Skyrim who supposedly kill without mercy from the shadows. Only, it seems like they're accidentally really good at PR too. If you talk to an innkeeper, they'll tell you a kid called Aventus Arentino is performing the Black Sacrament in his house. Go there and talk to him and little Aventus will mistake you for a member of the Dark Brotherhood and ask you to kill his headmistress. And one more. If you do that, a messenger will find you and give you a piece of paper with a black handprint and the words, we know, written on it. The next time you sleep in a bed, a member of the Dark Brotherhood will show up in your room and recruit you to the guild. In other words, don't call us, we'll call you. That is no way to remain hidden, surprisingly notorious and easily contactable secret society. And while we're at it, sending out autographed handprints is probably a bad idea too. The minute some clever Nord finds out about fingerprinting, you guys are absolutely screwed. I'm not criticizing. It was a good kill. Old Crone had it coming. Talking of assassins who can't stop talking about being assassins, how about the assassins from Assassin's Creed? Alright, so they were moderately subtle in the first Assassin's Creed, apart from their mortal enemies the Knights Templar knowing exactly who they were and where they lived, but by Assassin's Creed 2 they'd really started to lose their grip on the whole be unseen bit of the creed, waging a very public war on some of Italy's most powerful people. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood is when the assassins really went from secret society to obnoxiously public brand, however, by sponsoring businesses across the city of Rome, openly inviting anybody who'd been harassed by the police even slightly to join up, and oh yes, burning buildings belonging to the Templars, and then immediately covering those buildings in banners featuring their logo. Subtle, Ezio. Very subtle. Still, it could be worse. It's not like the assassins have ever led an entire country in a bloody revolution against an occupying- Oh no! There they go again. The Order is a pretty nasty cult, operating out of the town of Silent Hill, with members who are all pretty keen on bringing about the apocalypse. To be fair to them, they actually did quite a good job of being a properly secret society for a while, infiltrating Silent Hill and getting themselves in the position to do all sorts of nasty things. But then they went and kidnapped loads of young kids, murdered the tourism board of Silent Hill because reasons, peddled PTV, a hallucinogenic drug, killed the mayor when he tried to clamp down on the aforementioned drug peddling, tortured and immolated Alessa Gillespie, thereby causing the whole other world thing to happen in the first place, and were generally very bad people in a very small town, which is a pretty surefire way to get yourselves noticed. What is this? What's going on here? So really, if you think about it, you can't be too mad with the Order. They've completely failed to remain a secret society, but they manage that by way of being really, really good at being an evil secret society. So... Good job, I guess. My daughter will be the mother of God.
It's all over. The girl's at the top of that tower. She must be dead by now. <coughs> VSSE from Time Crisis stands for Vital Situation Swift Elimination, a secret society that vows to get serious stuff done quick. Sounds good so far, a secret society that concerns itself with only the most important stuff and seeks to get in and out as quickly as possible has a pretty good chance of remaining a secret, right? Not when your secret society members behave like this, it doesn't. Turns out the VSSE is a secret society comprised of all the player characters from Time Crisis, i.e. a bunch of young bucks with leather jackets and Hollywood clips who announce their arrival by setting off massive explosions and then ziplining into action. We've been invaded. What? Seriously, if Conan O'Brien can work out you've arrived despite being in a windowless dungeon, you really need to work on your stealth skills. But sure, go ahead and blow up a submarine instead. Why not? Right, first off, walking around yelling get out of Team Rocket's way is a pretty surefire way to let people know your clandestine evil operation has infiltrated a place. Similarly, yelling don't touch the poster at the game corner probably isn't going to have the result you wanted to have either, unless that result is leading people directly to your hidden lair. And yet, in Pokemon Blue and Red, that is precisely how Team Rocket operates. The shady criminal organization, led by a man named Giovanni, tries to steal Pokemon from unwitting trainers with the ultimate goal of taking over the world. Quite how stealing loads of Pokemon will lead to taking over the world isn't ever made clear, but I do know that blabbing about your secret hideout to all and sundry is definitely counterproductive to having it remain a secret hideout. Team Rocket, I know a lot of secret societies and video games like hiding in plain sight, but there has to be at least an element of hiding involved. Come on, work with me here. I will say I'm in favor of the uniforms though. It's pretty chic. Hello, Commander. A new enemy now threatens the future of mankind. A bit like the assassins from Assassin's Creed, shady human paramilitary operation Exalt from XCOM Enemy Within is a great example of what I'm now going to call Chiodini's first law of secret societies. This being, if you're founding a secret society, do not hire a graphic designer. Having a logo, simply put, is a dead giveaway. I mean, targeting the XCOM project with your own lethal brand of transhumanist skullduggery is also going to put you on the map, granted, but seriously, the natty red and black logo isn't helping. Once you become aware of Exalt's presence in Enemy Within, it's your job to find and eliminate their hidden sleeper cells while stealing all their gene modding tech, allowing your soldiers to wield powers derived from the aliens threatening Earth. So, I guess, given they managed to install sleeper agents across the world and develop cutting-edge gene modification technology, Exalt actually did a bang-up job of being a secret society for a bit, but then someone just couldn't resist drawing up that emblem. Or buying a bunch of uniforms, for that matter. Founding a secret society comprised mainly of dudes in nicely ironed white shirts and American Psycho-style slicked-back haircuts is definitely going to get you noticed, mate. Sort it out. Citizens of Chicago, we are DeadSec. Finally, on this list of unsubtle secret societies, DeadSec is the name given to an anonymous group of hackers in watchdogs who are opposed to the CTOS, or Central Operating System, the computer system connecting all traffic lights, road spikes, mobile phones, and so on, in the city of Chicago. The thing you hack into to mess with everybody, in other words. They think it's a bad idea, riddled with security risks and potentially invasive to people's lives, and seek to prove this by hacking into the CTOS to expose security risks and, um, invade people's lives. All right then. DeadSec had a pretty prominent appearance in the first Watch Dogs, but weren't the main focus, as baseball cap sporting Aidan Pierce wasn't actually a member. 
It wasn't until Watch Dogs 2 that DedSec really came into its own, though. And by came into its own, I mean transformed into a bunch of Twitch streamers on speed, each one hell-bent on ensuring nobody in the city of San Francisco stood a chance of making it to the end of the week without knowing all about DedSec. Between graffitiing billboards, hacking just about everything in the city, and, oh yeah, pushing their very own app to people, the San Francisco chapter of DedSec is anything but subtle. Which I guess is unsurprising when there are a million people claiming to be affiliated with you. DedSec has given you the truth. Do what you will. It is done. So, yeah, video game secret societies. Some are bigger than others, some are good, some are evil. Almost all of them, though, are unable to keep themselves a secret. Are there any good ones we've missed? Let us know in the comments. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, there are plenty more for you to watch on screen now. Do like and subscribe if you feel like it, but no pressure either way. Thanks very much for watching, and do have a lovely day. Goodbye. Yet another child has prayed to their mother.